Hello everyone, this is Riley. Recently I needed to add some grass on the ground. It's simple that once I have a group of grass, then I can just instance the collection with different rotations and so on and so forth. But to make a group of grass tends to be a kind of tricky problem. So I ended up making this grass generator. This is just a simple tutorial to demonstrate how it has been built. Uh, to follow the tutorial, you need to download the free preset library from the link in the description. So let's start. So here we in Blender. Um, it's very, it's kind of very basic, but I still have to discuss the how about importing the importing the texture. So if I go to the texture, you just find the, the your grass textures. I'm going to foliage, and import this image. So now uh, let's go to shaders. We can take a look with the let's just go to the material preview. So now we have this uh, image of our grass material. We have uh, about uh, like a 10 grass in total and let's take the opacity you can definitely take other uh, grass uh, other materials as well like the roughness and so on but i think this is already fine just, just to get a simple idea of this grass uh, it's important it might be important if it goes to the settings goes to the shadow modes take the alpha hash it might be also good if you take the alpha hash for the blend mode basically the ha alpha hash is a little bit noisy but it's the most accurate method. Uh, this is the most basic. You can definitely add a rough um, textures, but I, I'm just uh, or even the normal displacements. But I'm not going to do that here. Okay. I think this is good enough. Next thing is just uh, to separate all this kind of graphs from this image texture. So what we are going to do uh, is just uh, go to edit mode, and I'm going to firstly get a horizontal loop cut because we're going to bend everything. So like. Uh, um, 6 or 11 cuts might be good enough and then I'm going to take a vertical loop cut just to separate all these kind of grass that I'm going to use and I think getting 4 grass is kind of good enough I can delete the most of the button row because I don't think it's necessary and then I'm going to select the first uh, all faces and hit the piece Separated by selections, go to the second faces, uh, separated by selections, go to fourth selections, separated by selections, go to the fifth selection, separated by selections. There are these many graphs that I don't think I'm going to use. You can just hide them, uh, but you can definitely do the same, just separate them. So now I have a fourth straight grass, and they, I can simply deform them. And if I add a simple deform and add a band, it does not actually work. The reason is if you look at the transform, they are transformed in 90 degree. This is a kind of um, limitation of the simple deform that you have to make your objects looking upwards without any rotations. So what do you need to do? Just uh, control A and apply rotations. So now you can see the grass that has been applied with simple deform now has been rotated. Another issue that we are having right now is you we have to look at their origins. The origin has to be goes to the button so that it, it's not bending from the middle. In this kind of case, it might just be easy if we move these uh, origins and the downwards. And then we basically do the same things with the others. Once we have done this, we just uh, need to copy the modifier. So if uh, I need to last select the, the one grass that has the, our simple deform modifier and hit Control C, uh, and we can copy the modifier. If you don't have this copy uh, Control C panels, then you have to go to the edit the preference and type in the copy attributes menu. Okay. Next is just uh, to use animation of the instance of this kind of object. So let's go to the animation of the editor. And I'm going to basically to scatter all these kind of points around is to use the random transform nodes. Um, I've discussed this node in a separate tutorial. So if you're unsure, you can go to the right upper corner that you'll probably get some information. Um, but then if we go to the, um, if I get a 3D viewer, you can see all these kind of points being scattered around randomly. I'm going to kill this Z axis. So it's not a um, scatter, um, 
z-axis and Q all the rotations and instead I'm going to turn another rotations back on and the type 360 degree on z-axis so everything only rotates at the z-axis 360 degree and just to turn off this translation so that they merge more centered okay so I think this is good then we just uh, take the object instance object matrix output Take this list lens, matrices into matrices, object into object, QR 3D viewer. And you can just select any of the objects. So now we have all this kind of foliage being instanced. But they are the same object, which is called a foliage one. If you take the copy full object, then everything will copy its name, okay? Including the modifier. But it's just the instance in the same grass that you will actually see. So now you can actually tweak all this kind of translation to make it kind of looks kind of whatever more interesting or better. But um, if you really close look at that, it might look kind of a little bit boring. So that's why we need multiple grass to make kind of more interesting look and also different um, bending. From the simple default modifier. So firstly we're going to instance the our other grass to override the original location. I'm going to use a preset which is called the copy object data list and the target list will be our instant originally instanced object from the object instancer because we are overwriting the object our, in, uh, our objects onto this grass and the source it's just the our grass, different kind of grass. So let's just take the collection. You can also rename that as a kind of grass unit. Okay. And then we need a kind of all objects. But uh, one problem that you will realize is for these all objects, we only have four objects while we have multiple grass like as much as many as 20. In this case, we're going to repeat the list. And you can use the loop or ping pong, it does not really matter. We just uh, only need to have the, um, uh, the same amount as we are going to have. So you just uh, take the list length so that it will ins repeat this entire list until we have 20 amount of objects. So in this case, we have 20 amount of objects being repeated. So you take this source list. So now you can see immediately we have some other grasses being re uh, replacing the original kind of grass. And the next thing that we're going to do is just to bend all these kind of objects differently. So I'm going to right click and copy the data path on this angle. And then we're going to use the object attribute output. And then by placing this, the data, the control V from the, for the simple deform angle, we can actually control the value of the, all this modifier. We are going to take different values of the bendings for different objects so just to turn on these multiple values then next thing we just need a random value for the bending i'm going to use the minimum maximum node this node is something that i've also discussed and I put the values into the place then immediately you can see all this kind of effect by changing the base all the kind of points being bending much more and you can increase the percentage range so increase the variation and up to this moment, everything has basically been done. Uh, be aware that we have two seeds being involved in these entire places. So this is the setup that we're creating a single group of grass. But how can we actually instance this more? It's possible that you directly instance this entire scene into scene, uh, this entire collection into scene. But I don't recommend you to do that because maybe you are instancing other objects which will also be input into this object container. So here we're going to create a new collection. Just to call that um, grass group. And we're going to use the collection operations. And uh, let's select the grass group. Then all grass will actually be instanced uh, into this grass group. You can disable the original. I've actually discussed this kind of nodes. So you can also go to the right upper corners to learn more information. 
but uh, basically just uh, disable the original animation of the object container without uh, doing anything further just uh, not delete that not doing other things crazy just uh, keep this grass group and you can right click instance the same so now we have an empty which is instance in the entire thing so Finally, we can instance this entire collection. You can use the geometry node to do this work, or you can use animation node. It does not really matter which way you use, because eventually they are the same. I think it will be easier for me to use animation node because I have this random transform preset. So I'm just going to du duplicate this object instancer, object matrix output. And if I'm instancing this empty, everything will be in this animation node container. So to avoid these issues, I'm just going to get a new collection. Name a new collection grass instance. Take the list as matrices, matrices, object, objects. Select our empties and grass instance. So now we have all these kind of points. And you can increase the translations. So now we have a group of graphs. You can instance as many as you want. Um, it may it's it's still very fast, like 40, 43 milliseconds. Um, actually, it's faster than that. Or you can use geometry nodes, or you can use particle even particle system to instance these graphs on the ground. It does not really matter. It depends on what you would like to do. Okay. So I think this is it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.